Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at something that's so fundamentally important to basic mathematics. And just in case you didn't get it back in school, it's really important to learn. And the reason is I'm going to show you what it's good for. Because the just the process of doing mathematics is kind of boring, at least for me, because I'm an artist as well. And so I don't want to just see equations in life. I want to see it applied to things. And so virtually everything I do with mathematics in these Math for Animator lessons is geared towards applying it so we can see what's cool and fun about it. So an area measurement is something really important. And we can take advantage of Blender as well. So I simply have a basic plane in the scene. And if we go look at the dimensions of this plane, this is just the default plane when you come up and add it to the scene. And you come up here, and you look here under dimensions here, it shows that it has a value of 2 in the x direction and 2 in the y direction. Well, 2 represents a blender unit. And you can see here, there's one line there. And so that's one unit, and there's two units. But you're free to make things up in your own mind as to what that represents. And it's important to do that. So I usually consider this to be 2 meters like this and that would be two meters like that because I like to work in meters it's an important system of measurement for science and engineering purposes so the nice thing about being in blender is if you go into edit mode with the plane or any object for that matter and you come down here under numerics if if you're not in edit mode that option goes away but in edit mode you can click this edge length right here and notice it shows the dimension right here. So here's two. So I'm thinking of this as two meters. And then you can also show the area. So in, let me get rid of this, move that there and turn my cursor off so you can see it right there. You can see the number four. So really what we're saying, just to calculate the area of a flat plane surface, you're just taking, just, we'll use this as meters. We'll say two meters in this direction and two meters in this direction and you multiply those together it becomes four square meters and when you hear of a term square meters it's not because the object is square it's just because you're well I'll show you right over here we'll get over this window like this and then in this window here I'll just draw the cube like this and I'll just label it as like this two meters with a little m and this side is two meters little m and so then the middle the area is the length times the width and so it's going to be four square meters which means it's got an m and then it's got a little two right there so four square meters like this and square a, when you hear of the term square meters it represents an area in this flat two-dimensional space when you hear of a term cubic meters it means a three-dimensional volume right so this area is four square meters well why this really becomes important and you might not think it is but I assure you this is so fundamentally important to virtually everything in life even that you're gonna and if you're not familiar with this most basic trick you're gonna see why I find it so fascinating and it really is so let's take this same square and you can imagine somebody gave you a piece of rope these are kind of classic things and you, they say you gave you eight meters worth of rope right so yeah and this was so you put two meters along this length and two meters two meters two meters so you've used up your eight meters and you and the amount of space maybe you're building a garden and so in your garden you can plant you have an area that's four square meters in size all right that's pretty good well now let's say the next guy comes along or gal and I'll just make a copy of this and I'll move it up in Y and I'll put it over here and I'll change the dimensions on this a little bit and let's say they plant their garden they make their garden a little bit different in shape so I'll press N and I'll change the dimensions on this so here's my X is this way so I'm going to change the X to be say four meters and then the Y to be one meter because that's going to now it's going to take one, two, three, four meters for that, and then one meter, and then four meters. Well, that's not going to work. I've got to do it like this. We've got to do three meters. All right, so do it like this. We have one, two, three meters, and three meters is six meters, and one meter is seven meter, and one meter is eight meters. So now we've used eight meters of rope. Now let's come down here into edit mode and look at the numbers again 
and notice it shows oh well you know what it doesn't show it that way until I apply the scale let's apply the scale control a apply the scale let's see if it changes all right there it is so now it shows three along this side one along this side but you notice if this was your rope you'd have three meters plus one is four meters plus three is seven meters plus one is eight meters so you're still using the same amount of rope but notice your area in here it shows it as a three all right and that's because it's the same formula three me it'd be three meters times one meter is going to give you three square meters so you're you're basically you know if this was your three meters and one meter so you get three square meters like that all right, so you have less space. You actually have less physical space to plant your garden. It's unbelievable, but it's true. And even though you're using the same amount of rope. So an area measurement is so fundamentally crucial to virtually all kinds of things. It's really, really that important. All right, so what we'll do in the next lesson, we're going to extend this up into volumes, into three-dimensional space, and we'll see how it applies to that as well. Because for being a technical animator, you have to know quite a bit of mathematics. You not only do you need to know, you know, these basics of fractions and percentages and areas and volumes, but it's important that you know algebra, trigonometry, calculus, complex analysis, I mean, all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to approach it, of course, from the side of as, a, as an animator illustrator and put them into easy to understand lessons for you, and it'll make you a better animator in the long run. All right? All right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.